Okay, so for these key switch instruments to work, you have to set them up as MIDI instruments in Logic. Uh, it's these little instruments right here, and you can create these, of course, uh, by selecting New Instrument, and then you get it, you can give it uh, a color with the color palette, which I did, and, uh, and then you can cable it like this. So let me delete this again. And uh, then you need to go into the clicks and ports layer and identify the input of the keyboard that you want to use for your key switches. So in my case, it's this port one right here that comes from my little two octave oxygen eight. Um, and then I cable this into this monitor just to see what's coming in. Then the channel gets transformed from, from channel one to channel two. So I don't play uh, the, so I can ad identify the notes coming from that specific keyboard. You can of course choose any other channel here too if you have channel two set up for something else. Um, so if I play my regular keyboard, you can see over here in this column, uh, it comes in as on channel one, the notes. And if I play this keyboard, they come in on channel two. Uh, so then you go into this other view where the, where the instruments are. And here I have uh, first a little splitter object um, that's just a transformer and it's a condition splitter. So channel one just keeps passing through and goes to the instrument. And, and I'll show you where this goes later on. And channel two goes to the key switch. And in this case, all I'm doing is subtracting five octaves from uh, the notes played. Now, in this particular case, the piccolo is already transposed up 24 steps, so um, two octaves, of course. Um, so I don't have to hit the transpose buttons on my 61 key keyboard that's lying on my desk. Um, it makes it just a little quicker. You know, the, the piccolo is just there and I can obviously hear the range. So um, I know where it should be playing and what notes I want to hear. Um, and on other instruments, the transpositions are different. Here it goes down three octaves. Here it goes down two octaves. And on the lower instruments, uh, like the bassoon, the bass trombones, and all these kinds of instruments, I needed to do uh, different transformers because they have some key switches on the bottom and some key switches on the top. So you have this thing that transposes, transposes it up three octaves. And this one changes the A1 to the A minus one. Um, I don't have the instrument in my head what it does exactly, but it depends on what your instrument does, what kind of values these are, and you sort of have to figure that out for yourself. But you can you can change every note uh, to make it access the key switch that you want. It's really simple. You just cable another transformer and another transformer. In, uh, from this monitor object and thereby you can access anything and map any node to any uh, value. So uh, I hope this helps and if you have any questions send me an email and I'll be glad to help.